Tonight on the Northwestern News Report, while we stay home, these Evanston animals are finding their forever homes. And Ann Arbor residents lend a friendly hand to neighbors in need of protective masks. It's your news right now. Good evening and welcome to the Northwestern News Report. I'm Jenny Ha, bringing you our first mini newscast of the spring quarter, broadcasting from my home in California. Tonight, we take a look at a few stories we hope will bring a smile to your face during this difficult time. Many Northwestern students have left Evanston and gone home. But on a brighter note, many Evanston cats and dogs have gone home too. NNN's Megan Lebowitz tells us how shelter in place may be good news for shelters. As shelter in place orders continue, people are seeking out four-legged friends for companionship, and Evanstonians are no exception. The shelter is as empty as it's been in my memory. Shelters are clearing out as dogs and cats find foster families and forever homes. We have very, very few animals at the shelter right now. Since March 1st, the Evanston Animal Shelter has placed over 30 animals in foster homes, but the number of Evanstonians interested in fostering has spiked even higher. I think have received something like 200 applications in the last month or so. I just realized that I really missed having a dog at home. Meet Femke Munting's new roommate, Clementine. Having something else to be responsible for, I think, makes it feel um, less alone and less lonely. When Clementine arrived at the shelter, she was underweight and had a broken leg. But now Clementine and other animals are getting pampered as their humans stay hunkered down. She's getting better. The shelter is also preparing for the possibility of people requesting help if they fall sick from COVID-19 and can no longer take care of their pets. They're asking that pet owners come up with a plan now, but the shelter says that they will serve as a backup. We've asked people, if possible, to um, register with us. Now humans and pets extend helping hands and paws, getting each other through this challenging time. Another piece of good news, multiple foster parents have told the Evanston Animal Shelter that they plan to adopt their foster pet, giving them a forever home even after life returns to normal. Thanks, Megan. Pets can also catch COVID-19. Officials announced Wednesday that two domestic cats in New York tested positive. They have mild respiratory illness and are expected to make a full recovery. Keep your pets safe by keeping them inside or six feet away from other animals. But as many people stay home with pets, essential workers must still go out. NNN's Angelina Campanile's mother, Dr. Susan Campanile, took photos of these chalk drawings outside a hospital that aim to support healthcare workers on the front lines. We'd like to thank her and other essential workers. Now here's NNN's Alexa McKeel reporting on another act of COVID kindness from her hometown of Ann Arbor, Michigan. In this troubling time, people are lending a helping hand. Realizing that I might be able to have a little bit of an impact. Carolyn Herman first heard of the shortage of protective masks at the end of March after reaching out to local health care providers. Just weeks later, Michigan became a hot spot for the coronavirus. Hospitals are preparing for the worst. Next day it was okay, we will accept any homemade masks. Herman began posting in Masks of Ann Arbor, a Facebook group which has been putting 200 eager volunteers to work. Ann Arbor Sewing Company partnered up with the volunteers. Owner Donnie Hodling turned the center into a drop-off for homemade masks. Their website explains where to drop the masks off and how to make them. 20,000, 25,000 now, it's just crazy how many masks. Have it's as important to spread the message of making homemade masks like these as making sure they're going to the people who need them. Hospice centers, nursing homes, grocery stores. Protecting a community. One mask at a time. Alexa McHale, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Next time, we'll tell you about how the university is documenting these historic events in real time and how graduating students are navigating the job market. I'm Jenny Ha, and from all of us here at Northwestern News Network, thanks for watching and stay safe.